Charles, what are you doing? I'm, I'm trying to pick up Thor's hammer, Brooke. Charles, that is easy. Come on, we gotta go. We got a Comic Palooza special. It's the Comic Palooza special at Bedrock City Comics. Welcome to Bedrock City Comics, widely considered the best comic book store in Houston and home to our Comic Palooza special. Yes, Comic Palooza is coming to Houston <laughs> Memorial Day weekend. It will be at George R. Brown Convention Center. And you never know who you're going to see at Comic Palooza. And one guy you just might run into is Booker T, the WWE Hall of Famer, and our friend here on the Cube, Booker T. Welcome. Oh man, I'm glad to be here. I mean, uh, I'm so excited about Comic Palooza. This is our first Comic Palooza. Definitely won't be our last. But uh, we've been wanting to be a part of this for a long time. Now we're going to get our chance to go out there and show what reality of wrestling is all about. Everybody's been watching reality of wrestling at 2 a.m. On the cube on Good Saturday point. night, uh -huh. but but uh, they're gonna get a chance to see us live in living color. See some of my stars. I got Cinema. I got the Lockhart Brothers. I got my lovely wife Queen Charmel, as well as the mysterious Q right behind me. And don't, he can do anything. So so just, just be careful. <laughs> well, you guys will actually have a ring set up. Yes. I mean, tell us about everything that you're gonna have going We're on. We're gonna be set up for four days straight. We're gonna be having live matches. Um, we're gonna be taping some of the matches. So come see yourselves on television. You don't want to miss out. You don't want to get shut out on that right there. But um, we're gonna be having um, autograph signings. I will be out there signing myself. I will be signing my book, um, Booker T from Prison to Promise. Make sure you get a copy of that. Um, you can learn a whole lot from it. But um, we're gonna be um, giving the whole experience as far as what reality of wrestling, as well as a sneak peek, the boogeyman will be on hand. You don't want to miss the boogeyman, he's scary. Okay, the boogeyman sounds perfect for <laughs> Comic Palooza. That's what I'm saying. Did you just talk about how the reality wrestling goes hand in hand with Comic Palooza? Because you got you you know, got characters you know, in reality that's, wrestling. That's what's great about, um, you know, I, I admired a man by the name of Paul Bosch. I wear Paul Bosch's ring. You know, he was a great promoter and he had guys like Kamala, the Ugandan giant. You know, he had the one man gang. You know, he had, you know, the, the junkyard dog. And, you know, I'm trying to bring wrestling back to that same feel because I always ask people, what, uh, and they never have a bad memory about a wrestling match. So I'm trying to bring that feel back, trying to bring that, that family wholesome, you know, wrestling show back, but with a big, big punch at the same time, because I am the five-time, 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 five-time WCW champion. You're also King Booker. And the king of the world. Uh, I think some people <laughs> might consider you a superhero, but uh, who's your favorite superhero? You know, um, my favorite superhero, you know, I mean, I got two of them. Um, the Incredible Hulk. You know, I, I used to love The Incredible Hulk because I used to draw him all the time when I was a kid. But my second um, superhero is um, my lovely queen. Oh, oh, that's sweet. Yeah, she the always taking side care of, of me. Booker always <laughs> taking care of me. I always, you know, on the road, you know, when I was, when we was king and the queen, you know, she used to drive for me after those long nights in the ring. You know, I was busting guys up. She would always make sure she took care of me, got me to the hotel. And then now she take care of my lovely twin babies, you know, I'm Kennedy Rose and I'm Kendrick James. I know you're out there. I know you better be asleep mm -hmm. right now, but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but uh, it, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. All right, very cool. Well, we're going to send it over to Charles. He's got uh, some moves he's going to learn from one of your guys. Oh, Abel Andrew Jackson. <laughs> Thanks, Brooke. I'm here with Abel Andrew Jackson in politics. Hey, I've never wrestled before. What is one really cool thing that I, as a non-wrestler, can do? Just show me a really cool move. Okay, well, the face of reality of wrestling uh -huh. is going to show you something that is amazing. All okay? Right. I guarantee you that Abel Andrew Jackson, that you can check out on Booker T's realityofwrestling.com it's gonna show you a move that I think big guy like yourself, you can handle. Okay, what do you do it? I want you to relax. All right. Okay? All right, I'm relaxed. You're good. I'm good, I'm good. Now, everybody, make sure that you check out Reality of Wrestling Saturday, May 10th, and you can also learn something like this at the Fantasy Camp, May 17th, the following weekend. Realityofwrestling.com. Oh. This is what we call the fireman's carry because Abel Andrew Jackson believes that he can carry America just like he can carry the reality of wrestling. Wow. That, How was that? that uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll tell you later. Um, just that, remember that the face oh, of reality of wrestling took care of you. Awesome. Awesome. And we can go to realityofwrestling.com to find out more? 
Yes, you can. You can make sure you can find out everything when we show on the cube at 2 a.m. every Saturday night. Also, you'll be able to see my uh -huh. beautiful face and politics. Nice. We're working hard. You can get everything you need. But make sure Saturday, May 10th, Reality of Wrestling is live. Also, the Fantasy Camp, May 17th, it's live. All right, Brooke, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go adjust myself. Uh, back to you. Well, Booker T, thank you for joining us. Thank all of you guys for being here. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you yeah, ready for this? Yeah. Are you ready? We got to get excited about know, this thing, man. I'm excited. <laughs> and of course, you can see Booker T and the Reality of Wrestling crew at Comic Palooza over Memorial Day weekend. You don't want to miss them, and you don't want to miss the rest of our show. Come back after this break. You're watching the Comic Palooza special at Bedrock City Comics. Cue the music. Ready to unwind from your daily grind? I hear that. <laughs> Park it right here for Cube Happy Hour. This is so exciting. <laughs> the party starts weeknights at 6 with The Cleveland Show. Party over here. Then wet your whistle for another round with King of the Hill at 6.30. I just need somewhere safe to go and uh, let it all hang out. So kick back and tune in for Cube Happy Hour. I'm in. Yeah. Every weeknight at 6 on The Cube. TV for you. Critics love community. I'm so confident now, I can pull things off I never dreamed possible. Aviators. Jeffrey, how was your... Oh, 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 oh. Fans love it, too. This is the best show I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> Noticing a theme here? I hate to say that I told you so, so I'll shout it through cupped hands. I told you so! Join the study group everyone's talking about. Yeah, that just made me snuff, yo! Community, weeknights at 11 on The Cube. TV for you. Welcome back to the Comic Palooza special at Bedrock City Comics. We are back talking Comic Palooza, and I am now with the man behind it all, John Simons. John, thank you for being here. And what a crowd you got out. I mean, th yeah. this is really impressive. People are already in full force, ready for Comic Palooza in costume. Yeah, well, it's, it's all about community, and we've helped build the community, and they come out to support us. We love it. Okay, for the first time, you guys are four-day event. Yes. Let's just talk about the growth Comic Palooza has experienced since 2008 when you first started it. Well, in 2008, it was just a, a comic book signing of a dozen guys. It was six hours. It was really kind of a throwaway event. Uh, our first year as a con was in 2010, and we've experienced really good growth since then, um, virtually doubling in some years. And uh, so we expect to grow like that again this year and next year. Your artist alley sold out. I mean, what yes. can you expect as a visitor to Comic Palooza this year? So much that you have to offer. Gaming, uh, cosplay, everything. Just go through it. Well, okay, so there are the things that you would normally expect at a comic convention, which would be your, your dealers and your, your artists, um, your guests, your celebrities. Uh, we have a lot of things that, that you wouldn't normally see, um, like our wrestlers, um, a lot of our performers, um, we have uh, theater troops, we have music, we have concerts all weekend long. Um, we have uh, uh, Houston Mini Maker Fair is bringing in a, a, um, almost 30,000 square feet of, of uh, robots and tech displays and computers. We have people in costume, we have tons of things. You've seen it grow so much. What are you most proud of, Comic Palooza, and where it's become? Well, really what I like is, is sort of the sense of community that you see here. Uh, Houston didn't have a lot of that in this, in this community before, and now what we're seeing is that Houstonians are proud to have an event like this here, and I'm just glad that I was able to help, you know, yeah. fill that, you know, create that. Well, John, we are very glad to be a part of it. We can't wait to be out there at George R. Brown Convention Center over Memorial Day weekend. And now I'm going to send it over to Charles with someone else who will be there. He has some pretty cool things with him. So, Charles, over to you. Brooke, I'm here with Giorgio Ordano, who's been in the movie industry for over 30 years now. One of the five grindhouse gods. George, thank you for being here. I know no you've problem. been at Comic Palooza for like three years now. And what makes this Comic Palooza special? What, what are you guys going to be bringing over here? Well, this year what we're going to be featuring is one of our fan films, mm -hmm. which that's one of my hobbies. I know being a professional in special effects industry is kind of weird having <laughs> special effects yeah. being a hobby. <laughs> a hobby. Yeah. What we've been doing is doing small fan films based off of video games. Like this year we're doing mm -hmm. Bioshock. This one's Bioshock A Thousand Points, like kind of loosely based on the whole entire series, beginning back with System Shock all the way through. Wow. So we're going to be displaying some of the airlocks and some of the sets, plus we'll have our big sister there and some of the new characters from our movie. 
Last year we actually displayed Fallout Houston, yeah. just another crappy fan film we said so you don't have to, <laughs> which is the actual title of it, which was very loosely based off of Fallout. Fallout, uh-huh. That's awesome. Well, hey, I'm looking forward to checking you guys out. I stopped by the Fallout uh, display you had. It was amazing. So I'm Thank definitely you. looking forward to seeing the Bioshock stuff you guys have this year. Thank okay, you. We'll suit you up. Awesome. Come on down. Will do. Thank you. Yeah. Back to you, Brooke. We'll be back with more of our Comic Palooza special after this break. You're watching the Comic Palooza special at Bedrock City Comics, brought to you by the Game Fanatics. United, we game. It's quite the cast of characters on Community. A slacker. I'm just a guy that doesn't like taking tests, doing work, or getting yelled at. The jocks. Teach me a cool karate move. Oh, no one look me in the face. The girls. I am the smartest one in this group, and all I've been used for is fate. What did she say? I don't know. And this guy. Meow. Community, five nights a week. Prepare yourself oh. for greatness. Our school may be a toilet, but it's our toilet. Now that was inspiring. Community, weeknights at 11 on The Cube. TV for you. Check it out. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> I see that every day. That 70s show. Catch back-to-back -back episodes weeknights at midnight on The Cube. TV for you.